Hey folks, Rob with two guys that are riding. Today we're out at the Apple Valley All Ford Car Show and with me is Rodney Smith. Rodney's got an absolutely beautiful vehicle and he's got a really cool story about the chase and how long it took him and he's going to give us some highlights of this car. Rodney, introduce yourself and tell us about your beautiful car. Hello, Rodney Smith of Apple Valley. My 2018 Shelby GT350 Lightning Blue. Two years in the making actually. Uh, the funny story is I actually bought this car right here last year at the same exact car show it was sitting over i don't know if you got a picture of the r yet over there but uh the delivery point i was here a year ago pretty much almost to the day and i found a salesperson i said what do i have to do to take this home <laughs> and he said come see me tomorrow i came and saw him the the following day on monday and as I said, the rest is history. But two years in the making, uh, I'll be 100% honest with you. I looked at Chevys, Dodges, all of that. And my cousin bought a, uh, a gray 2016. Okay. okay. And he let me drive it. Well, then what was it about the car? Oh, is that what it was? That, that it was drive. And you wanted to replicate yeah. that because you couldn't sleep anymore. No, I couldn't sleep anymore. <laughs> and the, the, thing, the thing about the Chevys is they don't allow you to test drive. Oh, they don't? No. Until so, you sign your commitment of buying much, it or something? Oh, pretty much. I didn't know that. The first drive is your test drive <laughs> when you drive okay. off. So. Well, but you do kind of know what you're going to get with a Shelby, so it's not like going to buy a Fiesta or something. No, okay. no, not at all, all right, not all right. at all. But the fact that I was able to drive my cousin's 16, yeah. I fell in love with it. Okay. And it the search began. I didn't want a gray one. Okay. I didn't want a white one. So I was looking, I was looking, and this particular car, lightning blue. Okay. Black roof. Right. Black mirrors. Black spoiler. Now, I found it. What's, what's, you were telling me something about the lightning blue. What's special about the lightning blue though? So 2018, this is actually the last year of the lightning blue. They okay. discontinued it for 2019. They came out with, I believe, uh, Ford Performance Blue and uh, Velocity Blue, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. okay. Um, so this is the last year okay. that you'll see the lightning blue. And I don't, as you kind of see with all the cars here, there's not another lightning blue. No, show. no, there are other. Yeah, exactly. exactly. There's other, other lightning blue 5.0s and stuff like that, but no other show. And folks, I, you know, I mean, I'm hoping it's a bright, beautiful day. I'm just hoping that you're, the camera is able to pick up just the beauty of this car and this color with these lines. It's just spectacular. What is one of your most favorite things about this vehicle? The cold start. The cold start, okay. <laughs> yes. Every morning when you come out and you start this thing up, it has a valve, a switch, and I'll show you that too on the okay. inside. Come on, but basically come on. there's uh, nice neighbor mode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Piss off the neighbor <laughs> mode. Okay, and so depending on how the neighbor was last night, if he had you over for food and drinks, and it's uh, nice neighbor. I piss off the neighbors every morning. <laughs> <laughs> There's and nothing I like Now, stock. how many horsepower? 526 stock. Oh, stock, and have you done any modifications to it yet? No, sir. Nothing, nothing. Are you, are you planning on doing modifications? Maybe some body stuff, you know, under okay. the hood dressing and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, I was looking into the possibility of a uh, Hennessy package. Oh, boy. I don't okay. know yet. I'm going to do okay. some more research, but this thing is fast. As, As it, it is. is, right. Well, you on, on that, you were kind of telling me right when you bought it, uh, you kind of christened it, or you, <laughs> you, you you didn't like the tires that were on it. You wanted to get rid of them they quickly. Were sticky or no, they weren't so, sticky. You know, I so had you to tried do to them stick them. Yeah. So I, uh, and, and we've got that link. Uh, we'll put a link to that video. It was your very first burnout, and, and, you, and only one. And only <laughs> at least one. on these set of tires. He, right after that, he priced the cost of the uh, the tires and decided that would be his one and only. Maybe when you get another thirty thousand miles on them, then you'll just finish them off. And, yeah. And do another burnout yeah. and then you can just have them rotated and do a couple more burnouts oh yeah the other thing that i like about this car is <laughs> no disrespect to any other shelby owners or right. car collectors i bought this car to drive it right 2018 and i'm just about to hit 14,000 miles on it so is it is it a daily driver for it you? is it is. is that right um, okay i don't i don't try to drive it in the rain right um i definitely store it in the winter time um so 14,000 in minnesota that's right pretty much 7,000 a month because I only have two months. Right, yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> or, or this year it's been like three days. Yeah, so wow. uh, 14,000 miles on it. Wow, that's kind of cool because you know there are, two, there are two schools of thought. It's like, okay, do I do I buy it and put it up and just look at it and say, ooh, pretty, or do I get out there and experience it and have fun with it? And I've not seen, and there may be, uh, there's some Cobras on the other aisle over here. There are some cars that maybe people do put up, but I'm in this school that you drive and you enjoy it. Yeah. 
I don't think you're looking for a million, two million dollar Ferrari that you can collect and, yeah, and sell in a few years. I think you're looking for something that you can enjoy and drive every day and have fun with yes. and eventually pass it down to your kids. Yeah, now, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, yeah. he's, he's walking around here. Somewhere. He's walking around. Uh, but what I also want to tell you though, all the scoops and, and vents and everything else on this car, it's all pure Shelby, so they are all functional as well. Yep. Uh, so it's really kind of cool that you've got the air ducts here for the brakes, you've got the side vents and I've got pictures of that I'll show you that lets that air out and yep. you've got the air coming in the front grill and out. I love the detail here. Just uh, as you walk up, you can see it's a Shelby. You see it's uh, got the snake and we've got the, the collector plate on the inside as well. We got a picture of that. Uh, what other cool thing about this car that you can share with us that it's just really just, you go to sleep at night just hoping to get up the next morning to go drive this. What is it that makes me, it, is it the sound? Is it the feel? Is it the rumble? It's it's definitely the sound. Okay. I love the sound of it. It's the feel. It sits low to the ground okay. and it corners like nobody's business. Yeah. When I'm having a bad day or I have a bad day at work, right. every time I start it okay. up, a smile comes This is the car face. that turns a bad day better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I'll even start it up for you. Let you get that on video too. And, oh, uh, hey, if you got it, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Cool. We'll do that. All right. Well, Rodney, thank you so much for sharing you. your car with us. Thank Thanks. You. It's great to see younger folks out here too, into the car craze and just enjoying a uh, beautiful day out here in Apple Valley at the All Ford Car Show. Thank you so much for sharing your car with us. No worries. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Time. Yeah, I love this color. Oh, yeah. <laughs>